Rotary is weird. Rotarians are old, mostly. They sing songs like America the Beautiful and pray and say the Pledge of Allegiance before meetings. They tell lame jokes. They organize highway trash cleanups, blood drives, and literacy fairs. They raise money for students to study abroad and they open their homes to students from foreign countries who are studying here. They are fixated on eradicating polio. Yes, polio is still a thing. Rotary's old fashioned. It's not the hippest of scenes, but it's authentic. It offers a regular opportunity to accomplish real and lasting good in my community as well as across the world. In this age of political divisiveness and social discord in the US and around the world, Rotary offers a neutral space where people can gather together regularly and focus on what really matters, making the world a better place. Politically, I might not see eye to eye with everyone in my club. I'm not Facebook friends with most of them. In fact, many of the folks in my club don't even have social media accounts. But too often we use social media to create an echo chamber of our own opinion. We weed out those who disagree with our chosen worldview. We spend so much time trying to create an online experience that doesn't challenge the way that we think, that we refuse to look at the world as it really is. Online petitions change little. Strongly worded comments on Facebook or Twitter never filled a hungry belly or sheltered a shivering child. In reality, change isn't accomplished by working independently from those who disagree with us. We cannot create a real effective path forward without first building consensus. Under the auspices of Rotary's four-way test, the table is set to have a real face-to-face -face dialogue about how we can come together and benefit our community and our world in real concrete ways. Now more than ever, organizations like Rotary International are integral to the maintenance of the very fabric of civilized society. Social media is good for a lot of things, but it's not good for breaking down the walls that we build up between us. If we forget how or refuse how to engage in real life conversations, we run the risk of forgetting that those who disagree with us are real people, not just adversaries lurking among the ether of the internet. So if you care about your community and the world in which we live, I encourage you to join a service club like Rotary or to volunteer in your community in some real concrete way. You'll get as much out of it as the people that you help. And it will remind you that there's more that connects us than separates us. I'm a proud member of Wenatchee North Rotary and serve as the secretary for that club located in District 5060 in the Pacific Northwest in BC. Learn more about Rotary International at rotary.org and join a club today. Thank you.